And I came back because if you guys follow me on Instagram, I actually kind of showed you a sneak peek of the waist cincher vest that I am using from philfoxy.com. And I thought if you guys have not seen any of my videos, I will show you down below that I was talking about my last ACG uh, post. And I was saying that before, when I used the drops last year, uh, I didn't have a waist cincher. Even though people were saying that it worked, uh, I seen people after I finished my drops with their great results. So this year, I wanted to do and use the waist cincher. Now, when I used the waist cincher, somebody emailed me and said, have you tried the vest? And it was telling me the vest works wonders during the ACG. Now when you're doing the ACG, the thing about me, you have to know where you lose weight the most. I lose weight the most, at least in my stomach area. I've never really had an hourglass shape. I've always had just a little curve, not like this, but just a little curve, like a smile curve. And can I say using this vest, it eliminates back fat, it actually cinched in my waist. Don't worry. I'll show you all these results on my updated ACG diet um, on Monday. I'll be posting that. Also, uh, with this vest, you can wear undergarments. Now, if you guys see my other video of me wearing the waist cincher, which is the 100% latex. Now, that one, I think I would just use that for working out. Uh, it works it works great with under the garments. You don't see it. They both are very well under garments, but I know certain garments, the 100% latex really blends in really nicely. But when I tried this vest, okay, this is the packaging that it came in. Okay, so it comes in black and cream, all right? And I got the black and I have a 32. Now, when I put this underneath my garment, forget about it. All the people that I was talking to, because sometimes I do like to advise people of products that I've been using so they can really understand from a personal aspect, like, you know, my view. Um, there was one uh, young lady that I was talking to, and she was telling me when she bought the Waist Center, it was her size, but she was, you know, getting the muffin top up on top. And I said, you know, I put some strategies that I used and I told her, you know, trying to shimmy it right underneath her breast. And, you know, she still was, you know, she really couldn't get the hang of it. So this is all the people who are looking for maybe a garment underneath your clothes. If the waist cincher is cinching in your waist, but it's giving you like this Peter Griffin type of shape type of thing. So this is a solution that I wanted to show you guys. Okay. Now what now what comes in the packaging is they have like warning labels, how to take care of the product and all that. Okay. Now this one that I picked, this is the one that has the zipper on it. They actually have this one without the zipper. So the one uh, with the zipper has a mesh spandex on the outside. And this is the zipper and the material is one is 100% latex on the inside the outside and the inside outside inside outside it's the spandex which is actually giving you the compression double now this is a thinner sheet of latex than the, the complete latex ones that I've shown you before uh, but this one right here it doesn't it's not as thick if you guys notice, it's pretty thick uh, latex with the other one. The other one is really, really tight. This one has the compression, but it's to the point where you're not out of breath, okay? So the bonings are still the same. There's about four bonings, I believe. Yep, whip. yep, four bonings. And it has the two hooks to put on. And then, of course, they have the straps. Now there are many now philfoxy.com has I've this is the only website that I've been approached and and looked at with the most various latex non latex cinchers because there are people who are allergic to latex so those this is also for you people who are allergic to latex and I'm going to show you the difference between the all latex and the vest 
latex. Now, when there's a thin sheet of latex in this one, so it's doing the same thing. And I know people are asking me, does it do the same thing as the other one? Yes, it does the same thing, but it's covering your back fret. Now, there is another complete latex version of this one, but I think this is one is a more milder one for some people who actually want to wear it to work. Uh, it's very comfortable. You can sleep in it. I slept in it for the last maybe week in it. I slept in it for a week. Also, I ran around with it. I could do with the other one too if it's your choice. But I, like I said, I'd rather use the waist cincher, uh, complete latex for working out because I do see that better with working out. This one, I wouldn't want to recommend this particular one. But like I said, philfoxy.com has a boatload of different cinchers. They have the complete vest. They have the thicker band vest. And band ones so you can go crazy on that website as well as you know if some of us don't have the big you know booty in it or anything they also have really nice butt pads they have the brief ones they have the ones that just goes on top to make you look like you have a shelf delicious booty it's it, it's really really nice so you guys check out that site so i'm gonna show you what this looks like underneath two uh two garments and i'm going to show you what the other uh waist cincher looks like so like i said this is for the people who do have back fat or want to use it for the acg for the acg it's actually giving you a nice slim back because i've noticed when i was just doing the waist cincher it was oozing over and i just want to eliminate the back fat and this is what it does okay guys let me show you that video now to choose which waist center is best for you, of course, is just like the other latex waist center I was uh, reviewing for you guys. You have to go by your shirt size. But for me, my shirt size is a medium and it was a 34, but I was able to get a 32 because it was more compression. Now there are two latches on here and my advice to you being that I have been using a waist cincher for a while now, the best advice I I can give you guys is when, even if you're on the second one, I use the second, I can go to the second latch, but for the second latch I use for compression if I'm waist training and if I want to use this as a girdle as well as any other garment, I will put it on the first latch so it won't look like you're dying and, and you can't breathe and it just looks so awkward so for a more natural curve put it on the first latch so it can be nice and and comfortable for you okay and it goes all the way into the back all the way up underneath your breast as well as the straps which are right here and then you have the zipper. Like I said, you don't have to get the one with the zipper. Even the one with the zipper actually gives you extra compression. So that's why I wanted the zipper. Now the material for the mesh is a, is a stretchy spandex. So it's not bulky. It actually gives you a nice smooth finish. And you just zip it up, put it underneath your breast, and you put your clothes on. I'm just showing you what it looks like with the tank top. I wouldn't wear it with this one because it is an open back and you can see the vest in the back. But other than that, it's no imprint. It was just my button and you can dance in it. You see no imprints at all when you dance. And this one I'm showing you in a black tank top. Okay, now you can see the black, uh, the, as you can see, like I wouldn't wear with this one because you can see in the back. But if you can see the band right there, all you have to do is pretty much tuck it in and adjust it. And then you don't see it anymore. All you see is my actual bra strap, but you do not see the waist uh, center band anymore. And you can see no back fat oozing out. It's all natural looking curves. This one I'm showing you the back fat with the just regular waist center. And I'm showing you right here that it's not supporting my breasts on the side like the vest does. You can see the overload back fat. Even if you feel like you don't have back fat without the waist center, the waist center does create a bigger uh, upper back. And you don't want to look like a quarterback or you know linebacker. As you can see, the cute, you know how we put our hand on the hip and you know, I just didn't want it to look 
like that. So now I have the vest on and you see my back is not overflowing. I'm showing you this is the vest. So when we do, you know, our side shots, you don't see back fat at all. You can dance in it, nothing oozing out. Here I am posing how we normally pose in our pictures, ladies, and no back fat at all. All nice, smooth edges. And I'm just showing you how it looks about walking away, how natural it really looks, and it makes you, your butt look and breasts look really nice. So as you can see with the you know, the way that I showed you guys how both waist cinchers look underneath certain garments. They're both a great undergarments. They're both a great for waist training. But if there are women who has a little bit more back fat, I think the vest is perfect for you, especially the spandex one who don't want the extreme intense, uh, compression on them. Now, uh, if I wanted to wear a maxi dress, I would definitely wear the vest. So those are my preferences for you guys because I know you're going to ask because I, I get this question all the time when it which you know what shirt or what material should I wear this waist stitcher for so it really is up to you but from my uh from my experience I think the the vest is perfectly for tank tops and the waist cincher is for the t-shirts and uh dresses that have material with it like a thicker material because you know a lot of these material are very thin like they're not they're pretty cheaply made so uh i would think that the vest that i have with the spandex is more like the spanx you know you it's pretty much invisible as you guys seen the difference between when i wore this shirt with the waist cincher and the vest all right guys so i will see you soon peace